My name is Katrin, and I will talk to you today about community and own cloud. Um, I hope everybody can hear me. Um, if you can, it would be great if you can send some emojis, maybe hearts, or let me know, so that you can let me know whether you can hear me. Okay, excellent. I got feedback that you can hear me, so that's great. Um, mm, that looks good. For some. Okay, so um, my my name is Katrin, as I just said. A quick intro. Um, I recently started working for OwnCloud as a community manager, and today I want to talk to you about why community matters to OwnCloud and show ways how you can contribute if you're interested and get engaged in the OwnCloud community space. Um, I'm also going to make an announcement and introduce the new OwnCloud community program, which is launching today, and um, I will briefly talk about own cloud infinite scale, which you have heard, those of you who were in the talks previously have heard that being mentioned lots and lots of times. And um, we are excited about where we are going with own cloud infinite scale. And we hope to have lots of community engagement going forward. So um, on a very general level, um, what does community actually mean? And what does it stand for? Each of you may have a different idea or understanding of what community means to you. However, when it comes down to it, it is about an exchange of knowledge, usually of people who have the same interest in something. In our case, this was going back in OwnCloud's history, the interest in offering an open source software alternative for file sync and sharing. As you may know, we are not we are rooted in open source culture and engineering uh, for enterprise use, and we are on a quest for digital sovereignty, which you have also heard already in previous talks today. We believe in our mission that you should have control of your data, and um, we regard ourselves as an open source business and are community based. We develop and provide open source software for content collaboration, um, allowing teams to easily share. <clears throat> and uh, work on files seamlessly regardless of device or location. So digital sovereignty, security, and data mm, protection are not just words to us. We care about these, and so do many others in the community who see us as an alternative to public clouds. So own cloud and community go back a long way, and today we are as convinced as ever, and we believe in our mission. Data sovereignty is our driving factor for doing what we do every single day. So as just mentioned, in OnCloud's history, the open source community has always been key. And without the community, OnCloud would not have been possible and we would not be where we are today. That is also why OnCloud, as a company, we encourage the community engagement of our employees. And we receive extremely valuable know-how in the past from the community regarding product development, feedback, support, by interacting closely with the community when it comes to code, security issues, bug fixes, and as already mentioned, support, forum support, for instance, from active community participants. We see the interaction with community as vital for the product quality, the ongoing development of our products, and by the way, it also has proven to be a great recruiting channel for us. And as we are convinced as ever, that you should have control over your data and with our product we offer the community as well as customers a choice a choice to choose a sovereign open source service product we are looking towards the future with excitement and if you are in the session before this one you may know that we are currently working on own cloud infinite scale where we recently published another tech preview so own cloud infinite scale is based on a new technology stack as already mentioned by Patrick, my colleague, and um, written in Go using microservices. And hey, give it a test drive. We are first and foremost looking for issues with the software and holes in its documentation. And we really, really look forward to working closely with community on our So how can you contribute? Community is about learning and sharing. It is about receiving and giving back. 
So this brings us to the question. You can contribute to the ecosystem, well, um, optimize the user experience, or help spread the word at events if you enjoy speaking, for example. Um, on cloud, the product is open source built on the contributions of many users. And for the community aficionados amongst us, there are lots of different ways on how you can get engaged in the own cloud community space. You can actively participate with regards to the design and documentation, localizations, and of course, by contributing bugs, for example. Whether you're a developer, an administrator, or a um, designer, all contributions are welcome and add value to the community. Also, if none of these descriptions apply to you, as you may not be a techie like me, but you may be an avid blogger or love organizing events because you'd love connecting people, then you are also most welcome to engage in the community and add to the choice. The choice we offer to people and businesses out there so they can choose products where having control over your data is not simply a marketing phrase, but it is a mindset that is lived every day. As already said, for the community aficionados amongst us, there are lots of ways on how you can get engaged. Just have a look on our website and there you can see the different areas where you can be active in the community. Community is very important to OwnCloud and a few weeks ago, employees here at OwnCloud actually sat down together and did a bit of brainstorming. We wanted to see how we could intensify our interactions with community, foster the exchange of knowledge, and express our deep appreciation to all contributors out there who add value to OwnCloud every single day by being active in the community space. Our brainstorm resulted into an idea to launch a dedicated community program here at OwnCloud. And today, right now, as I speak, we are launching this new program. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about it. With this program, which we are launching, we want to enable deep insights and start new conversations and relationships and give our community activities a formal approach, a name and a framework. The community program represents our broader community outreach and is also a means for us to strengthen the relationship with our existing community members. So what exactly is included in this program? Well, in this program, there are actually two initiatives, as I call them. One, the first one is um, the community contributors initiative. And this is actually um, an initiative that um, is for any community contributor out there, uh, something where um, if, if you're active, actively contributing to the community space, um, whether you're a techie or not, um, just simply by actually being active, you can go and request a community contributor badge. This can be used for your CV, online profiles, etc. It's at your discretion how you want to use it. Um, to give an example, let's say for you would be you may be active in the own cloud central forum, but um, maybe even regarding own cloud ten, um, but you are not as technically savvy and you don't know own cloud ten inside out, but you know how to point uh, forum users to the right threads, and that's how you help keep the community healthy. Um, then you can also request this community contributor badge. And below you can see what this looks like. If you're interested to find out more about it, there's also the link which takes you to the website um, where there's more details about it. The second um, initiative, which is included in this community program approach, is the OnCloud Professional. This is meant for those who are not only tech savvy, but who have experience using our products in a professional environment and who like to share their knowledge in the community. These community participants are welcome to apply and become official own cloud community professionals. There are also some benefits included here um, to eligible members, such as uh, recommendations, dedicated workshops with our engineers and events to name a few. In case you have any questions or would like to know more about our new community program, um, again, here's the link, but you're also always welcome to contact me directly. I'll be sharing my details later on. Uh, we are looking forward to receiving our first applications and requests for the contributor badge. 
and um, subsequently having lots of valuable conversations and exchange with the community members, especially with regards to our on cloud infinite scale tech preview. Now, this brings me to another program which I would like to highlight and which was already mentioned by um, Klaas um, in the session this morning. On cloud infinite scale, as you know, is a tech technical preview. And um, we have currently the early adopters program in place where lots of technical discussions and exchange are taking place regarding on cloud infinite scale. If you have already checked out on cloud Inf infinite scale and you think, hey, it would make sense for you or your org to join this early adopter program, then do reach out to me stating uh, what you have already done with on cloud infinite scale, maybe what your plans are, and we will then gladly see to it whether it makes sense for you to join the early adopter program. However, as the name suggests, early adopter program um, means that this will end at some stage once on cloud infinite scale re will reach general availability, but we will make sure that the conversations will continue, may be included in the community program itself. So tomorrow afternoon, for example, there will be an on cloud infinite scale workshop for administrators <clears throat> and other talks about on cloud infinite scale. If you're a techie and interested, make sure to attend. Um, we are very excited where we are heading with our new technology stack and look forward to working closely with the community in many ways. As already mentioned, please bear in mind, on cloud infinite scale currently is a tech preview, so it's made for test environments. Still, I want to point out, I know Klaas had this morning a few um, resources also on his slide to show how you, how you can get engaged with OnCloud Infinite Scale and what you can find about OnCloud Infinite Scale resources. We have um, already a few areas where you can contribute in the community and which um, if you want to test it and want to report back to us what you have found, issues you came across, um, obviously uh, we look forward to any feedback we receive from from users, so do not hesitate, test it, let us know what you think, and use these um, areas for engagement that I have on this slide up here. So now I'm already at the end of my talk this morning, but um, there are four things, takeaways, I hope that you will take away from this talk. Um, it's basically number one, we at OnCloud care a lot about community and interacting with community. There are lots of ways to get engaged in the community and we hope you check them out and have a look and maybe you find something where you say, I want to participate. We look forward to it. As of today, we have the newly launched community program. Have a look at the website and give us feedback about that as well. We look forward to it. And we are excited. I think you've heard that quite a few times already today, this morning about OnCloud Infant Scale and really eager to receive lots of feedback and engage with the community. So thank you for listening. I will now go, now go to the Q&A and take any questions there via chat. Um, if you don't have time to go to the Q&A, do not worry about it. Um, just get in touch with me directly. And um, here you can see my email address. So if you have any questions, feedback, whatever is on your mind that you think it's um, you know, about community and own cloud, let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. You can reach me at community at oncloud.com. Thank you very much. Thank you.